Fingern Podcasts. We live in a spiral galaxy called the Milky Way. Our galaxy has a number of companions. They include globular star clusters and dwarf satellite galaxies. In this Hubble Space Telescope image, you can see a globular cluster. It is a dense collection of about a million stars. Our galaxy has about 160 of these globular clusters orbiting about it. The next Hubble Space Telescope image shows a dwarf satellite galaxy. This is the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy, which has actually been accreted by the Milky Way and disrupted. Our galaxy has about 30 of these dwarf satellites orbiting around it. They are often of quite low surface brightness, so they can be quite hard to detect. What I'm going to show you next is an animation where we're going to fly through the Milky Way and see its companions, its globular clusters and its dwarf satellites. We've placed these at their true position in three dimensions. So as you can see, the, the white objects are the dwarf satellite galaxies around the Milky Way. Uh, you can see some small blue and red objects. They are the globular clusters. They're concentrated towards the center of our galaxy, but a few of them are spread out to relatively large distances. We're zooming in now onto the disk of the Milky Way galaxy, and you can better see the globular clusters and the position of the Sun. Now we're tipping up, and here now we've lab labeled the orbit of the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy from simulations as it's been accreted by the Milky Way galaxy and its stars spread out. We've also labelled the globular clusters in the outer parts of our, our galaxy here. Some of those globular clusters were probably accreted along with the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy. This green spiderweb structure that you can now see is the volume of sky searched by a survey, something called the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. So this survey has been very good at finding low surface brightness objects and indeed it has detected a large number of new dwarf satellite galaxies. So some of them are, are labelled here as we spin around this survey cone. And now we're zooming out and you can still see this volume of sky that has been searched and the new dwarf satellite galaxies labelled. Now when we tip it up you'll notice that there are regions of sky searched but no dwarf satellite galaxies have been found. So you can see that the satellite galaxies and globular clusters have this preferred plane in three dimensions and are not found everywhere around the galaxy. And now the galaxy disappears. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your flight around the Milky Way. Next time you look up at the night sky and focus on a particular star, it's possible that that star you're looking at isn't actually from our galaxy but was formed in a dwarf galaxy like Sagittarius that has been accreted and disrupted 